So you're saying there's a chance. We're all back to work on Monday, but the Powerball continues to grow. In just three days, the jackpot has grown nearly $500 million. With the jackpot now at $1.4 billion, the dream lives on for all of us. Not in your sides, Craig Smith is live with the Powerball fever. Well, you know, we haven't heard about anybody today out there about uh, to go shopping for their own private island. So that really does mean that nobody hit that big Powerball jackpot. That means it is soaring towards a world record, $1.4 billion, with a B, dollars. $1.4 billion is a number so big, Powerball buyers have a tough time wrapping their heads around it. Crazy. Nobody needs that much money. <laughs> but you might be willing to give it a try. I, yes, yeah. I would. Uh, yeah, I'd share. I'd share. I know a lot of people that need help, so. And of course, you know if we win, of course, you know, you're always going to be in our hearts. We'll think of you. Just what in we'll, your heart. We'll think of you while we're spending it. No, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. We'll think of you while we're spending it. Two players had a classic good news, bad news moment Saturday night. The bad news is they missed the grand prize because they did not pick the Powerball. The good news is picking all five of the regular balls won them a million dollars apiece. Those tickets came from stores in Peoria and Bullhead City. Someone in Tucson did buy a $50,000 ticket. But now it's time to look ahead to Wednesday night and that world record pot. At this quick mart on Speedway, Brenda Strider is making sure she will not run out of blank tickets. She says regular players can be very concerned something will jinx their luck. Some people do it on separate papers. Um, some pick their own numbers. It just depends. I don't know. She says now she's seeing a lot of people buy Powerball who are not regular players. Many come in for something else and figure out with winning so huge, they might as well try their luck. Now, no one knows quite how well, quite how lottery buyers behave like the clerks and managers at convenience stores like this Quick Mart here on Speedway. They are expecting steady sales for the next day or so, probably getting pretty busy tomorrow, but a crazy time late Wednesday as that drawing gets close. Reporting live, Craig Smith, Cake on 9 on your side. Thank you, Craig.